DJ AFK here, back with another tutorial from the Sisters of Eve. Uh, today we will do Worlds Collide. And oh my, there are a lot of warnings about this mission. Uh, there are... Looks like this one is for the Blood Raiders and the Angel Cartel. The only way to find that out is in the text of what she says. The Blood Raiders, Angel Cartel. Uh, over here where it normally is, is uh, just an empty dot because it's not against one particular faction. Now, it looks like it is four pockets. In the first pocket we would uh, have two more gates, and then I guess we take either gate, then the other, and then the final area is against the Blood Raiders. Since we will be battling different types of rats, we will have different resistances, so we may have to do something slightly unconventional. For the ship fit, we have a standard Dominix with sentry drones. We have our drone damage amplifiers. We have omnidirectional tracking links to help the drones. Micro jump drive sensor booster with targeting range and scan resolution scripts. We have a micro warp drive because there are acceleration gates in this pocket. And our drone link augmenters that get us to 129 kilometers. And some small rail guns in case uh, frigates get a little bit too close. For resistances, we have our armor repair and damage control, but we have thermal and explosive hardeners. Uh, the Dominix has a natural higher EM damage resistance in armor, and it has a low explosive resistance, so it's got a hole there. Uh, I figured we would use one hardener for each group. So thermal for the Blood Raiders, and explosive for the Angel Cartel. All right, we'll see how well this works. Let's see. Looks like there are quite a few battleships in this particular mission. This could get fun. Uh, there's a few warnings that if you, we accidentally aggro the whole group by using drones, which we very well may, that we're looking at 1100 to 1200 DPS incoming. Let us try to avoid that. Uh, in the initial area, the groups are pretty far away. So we'll have to get creative to aggress them. In the other groups, uh, we start out with weapon scram frigates right on top of us. Uh, that is not good. I do not want to get warp disrupted by a frigate that is seven kilometers away. For that, we added some light scout drones. Uh, just in case we do get scrammed and, and we're all that close, taking that much incoming DPS, we don't have time to gun them all down. We will launch scout drones and take out those couple frigates. With that being said, let's accept mission and let's get started. As we land on grid, in the initial gate, looks like these groups are close enough to target. Let's go ahead and move towards these guys until we're within at least 129 kilometers. Launch our wardens and shoot them down. and That should unlock the gate to the cartel base.
as we land in the angel room, we need to get some distance quickly. Let's go ahead and hit our micro jump drive and let's hope that these two frigates don't grab a hold of us. And we are back at the initial pocket. Uh, we are going to go ahead and see what the Blood Raider room looks like. Let's get close enough to these ships to shoot them. So within at least 129 kilometers, then we will enter the Blood Raider gate. This is gate to the Blood Raider base.
All right, we are landing on the Blood Raider area. This looks really similar. Uh, there are a few differences. The destroyers were cruisers and battle cruisers on the Angel side. This group has destroyers instead of those, as well as the frigates that were with the Angel Cartel. Now, the two elite frigates right at the warp end did get a web on me, but they did not drop the warp disruption, so we are in good shape. Alright, as we land at the research facility, we are really close to some of these groups. Let's go ahead and take the direction that we landed and hit our micro jump drive. And let's start targeting frigates. And set our targeting range script. Stop ship drop drones and let's take these out.
have returned to station. Uh, that was an interesting mission. We had uh, a slightly incorrect assumption of how the mechanics would work, but it made for a good tutorial. Now, I would recommend instead of uh, fitting for both types of ships, I would fit for the Blood Raiders and just uh, attack those at the initial gate, go into their gate, uh, take those out, and go to the final pocket. Uh, you do not need to do both sides. We did go ahead and warp out, come back in and do the other, so that we could see the differences between them. Uh, the Angel Cartel was damaging me quite a bit more than the Blood Raiders were. Having said that, when you do get to the last room, do remember to pick up the ship's crew. I believe they called them Stranded Crewmen. Let's see. Stranded Crew Members. But I would recommend use a, uh, what is it, Thermal and EM. I would take out the explosive, put in EM, and go straight for the Blood Raiders. I hope you enjoyed that. As always, leave your comments below. Remember, fly safe.